welcome in. So what I want to do in this video is I want to be able to show you how to take paper copies. So something that you have written on and then transfer them into a PDF file. So it's a basically a digital file that you can share with anyone. Now it's super useful if you're, you know, doing kind of your receipts that you want to try to, you know, have digitized if you're doing, I don't know, solutions for a test or for assignments or something of that nature or bank information, you can always transfer actual paper copies and then you can send them off to somebody or just save it for yourself. Now I'm going to use it and do it for two devices. So I'm going to make the assumption that you are either using an Apple device that uses an iOS system. So I'll do that first. And then I'll also show you how to do it on uh, a regular Android device. So people typically have those two devices. And then how can you actually do that transfer of a paper copy to a PDF file? So that's the ultimate goal. If you're only interested in the Android device, so the Google Android device that you have, you, I have timestamps on this video, and then you can just go and see um, how it is done with an Android uh, device. So in my case, it's gonna be an actual phone, but I'm sure that you're gonna be using something similar. So let's get started. So the first thing, I do utilize the app, which is Adobe Scan. And the reason why I use it is it's extremely efficient. Uh, it's really, really crisp and uh, very well done. It's free and it is capable of being downloaded both for the iOS and for the Google device. So you can use it on either one and it's exactly the same procedure. So I love it um, because it kind of knocks off both okay, the Apple and then the Google Android devices at the same time. So if you don't have Adobe Scan, so you're gonna have to go into your app store. So if you go into your app store, you obviously can put in Adobe Scan in here. I have already downloaded this, so I have it. So notice that for mine, it says open. So that's the top right hand, just so that you know how it looks like. So it's the Adobe Scan PDF and OCR scanner. It's amazing. Once you have that, you can download it in. So I, you know, once you download it, you can open it. I'm just gonna open it so that it does this for me. And now, okay, so I have these sheets of paper. So here's, as you can see here, and there's these blue dots, okay, that it's basically capturing, and this would have been my first page. I'm gonna go back, you can, you know, you can change these. Now, it's super useful when you're using it for, you know, a couple of pages in here. So here's my, you know, second page, okay, that I'll have in here. And so just kind of notice that it is on a darker surface so that it captures it, okay? It's not super fast or, or brilliant, but here, this is probably gonna be enough. I'll just do three pages, okay? Just so that it captures those three pages for you. There you go. I'm holding it, holding it steady. Now let's say I'm done, all right? So this is what it has done. Um, now at the bottom, uh, it's cut off for you Okay, as you can see there, but you can, you know, add another page, you can crop it, you can rotate it, you can do whatever it is that you like. So if you want it in portrait mode, which is in this way, you can, if you want it in landscape mode, you know, you can rotate it back, you can mark them up. Um, if you like, you can delete a page and so on. So I'm happy with this page. So that's my first page. So then I just swipe. So here's my second page. Okay, so this is um, the second page that I have done. Now, I didn't stand up, right? I typically would stand up. So notice in here, it's captured it and it kind of slanted it over a little bit. You know, it's much better that you stand over the page, right? So that it captures it and it will do a much better job. I mean, I'm okay with this one. It's uh, good enough for me. It's the second page and here's the third page that I have. So these are the three pages that it has captured for me. And now at the top right hand corner, so um, in this screen, the way that it's being recorded, okay, you are not seeing, but it says save PDF there. So now within that save PDF, you're gonna just hit that. Um, so now it's recognizing the text, saving as a PDF, all right? And now you have an opportunity to share it. So, you know, save as a JPEG, I wanna keep it as a PDF, 
Um, so you can have that, so I can share that within here. And then you can share the link or share a copy. So I will just share a copy within here. And of course, you know, you can share it to whatever it is that you like, you know, so you can put it on your Google Drive. If you have that attached OneDrive, you can send it to a, an email um, or any app, okay? that has that. So, you know, for me, let's say I'll put it in the Google Drive somewhere within here. Okay, so I'll change the name, you know, I'll leave the PDF. So don't, you know, don't crop that out. Okay, so let's say this is uh, testing. Uh, sorry, testing. Okay. Um, you know, paper to file. All right, so I'm just gonna put that in here. And then my Google Drive folders, okay, so within here, I guess I'll just put it randomly into my, you know, say standard one and then upload, okay, so I'm gonna be uploading it in there and then it's done. Now, you could have done that in email or anywhere else that you wanted to. So within here, I'm gonna go back to my Google Drive, for example, I'm gonna scroll down, testing paper on file, let me just load it up and there you go. So, you know, here is your uh, pages and notice how nicely it's captured. Now, of course, this one was a little bit odd because I was at an angle, right? So as I said, just be over it so that it makes it a lot nicer and crisper. So I have it here and then you can do whatever it is. You can now send it to others or whatever it is that you want to be able to do. That is how you can do that. Now, you know, I will go back in here um, and let's say that I wanted to, you know, uh, scan something a little bit different. Okay, so view all my scans. Okay, so I'm gonna just go back in here. I have a, uh, I have a scan in here. I'm gonna go back. So at the bottom right, I'm gonna go back to the, there's a, a photo there. I just wanna do something, you know, a little bit different. So let's say, you know, I am trying to scan this. All right, now I know that it's gonna do a good job. Okay, but let's say, you know, you weren't happy with it. So within here, so notice, you know, I said you can rotate it. So it has a rotate function in it. You can, you know, so I can keep rotating it in here. I can crop it if I want. So what's really nice about this is if it captures it incorrectly, let's say if it captures it like this, you can actually set it to exactly what you want, right? Like you can spin out the page make it really nice right here so that it basically captures what you want. Notice there's a zoom in feature right this, okay? And then, you know, it has a little check mark at the top right hand corner. Again, my video is cutting it off, okay? Cause just the way that the screen is showing, but so I've adjusted it, you know, let's say I wanted to mark it up, right? So I can mark it up, you know, use your fingers to draw on your scan, zoom in better precision and so on. You know, you can do whatever it is that you like. Okay, within here. So I'm, I'm just using my Apple Pencil within here, okay, to do that. Now I'm gonna go back in here and say you cropped it and you got it to what you want. So this is amazing because it allows you so many things. And honestly, Adobe Scan is pretty much the best one out there. Okay, so that gives you the whole perspective on what to do, okay, for this example. Now I'm going to okay, kind of go back, put this aside and, you know, take my Android phone here. Okay. So, you know, just to show you that you can do the same thing. Maybe I won't do all three pages because I think you get the idea, but here's my Android phone. All right. So for all of those who maybe have fast forward into this point, let me bring out my Android phone on the screen here. So um, I apologize. So the, the way that I have it displayed, it just shows the actual screen. So now what you're gonna try to do for the Android phone is you're gonna try to get Adobe Scan. Now I already have Adobe Scan, okay, within my um, apps, but for those who don't have it, so you're gonna go to the Play Store right here. We're going to go back in here. Um, oh, notice it's already popped up because um, I was trying to search for it. So that's the Adobe scan right here. And as I said, you you will install it if you don't have it. I already have it. So it's the Adobe scan PDF scanner there on top. So I'm gonna open it up, all right? 
And as I open it up, it's gonna go straight to trying to search for a document. So now if you're searching for the document, um, so now within here, so notice I'm gonna try to do the best that I can, okay, with this to try to view it, all right? So it captured this. Note that it asks you in here, you know, if you wanna change the pages or, you know, ever so slightly, okay, adjust. I mean, I'm fine with this page. So now just at the bottom, it says keep scanning. So I'm gonna hit keep scanning. Um, let's say you have, you know, multiple pages. If it's only one page, you know, sometimes people will just take an actual image, although I find that this is much better because as you can see here, the blue dots, okay, so they try to find out, I'm gonna see if I can scan this in. All right, so let's say, okay, this one again, I don't really have to adjust anything, everything is kind of perfect, but if I needed to adjust, I could have, okay, within here. So this is now what I do, um, and once I am done, okay, so within here, okay, so this is now finished, adjust and save, so now I have scanned both of mine, so I'm gonna hit adjust and save in here, so there you go, it's creating my file. Um, at the bottom, notice that you can, you know, you can rotate your pages if you wanted to. So within here, let's say if you wanted to rotate the page, you could. If you wanted to crop the page, you can crop it, it goes back into here. I mean, I've already done it, so I don't really have to do anything within this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the second page. This one is fine, all right, so I'm done. Okay, so no crop. Okay, so that would have just extended it back. If you do crop it back in, so notice that, you know, if, it, if something is off, you can always change it in here. So I like this because you can just take your fingers and then adjust it, you know, to create the page that you want. So there you go, that's the page, all right? And there you have that. So now at the top right-hand corner has a check mark, so I'm gonna hit the check mark, I'm all good. And now on the top right hand corner, again, it has, you know, save PDF. So I'm gonna just save PDF here. So saving. So this is just in progress. All right, so enjoy Adobe Scan. Please take a minute to leave us a review. Okay, so I'm not gonna do it this time around. Although I will say that it's a, the best app that I have found. And now notice it has a share option. So within here, so I can, you know, share this document. Okay, so I'm gonna share this one. And you know you can email it, you know share that through email or share a copy. So within here, so whatever it is that you want to be able to do, you know you can certainly do that. So you know share a copy. So let's say you know email. So it's going to enter it in. And now where do you want to be able to send that document in, or you can save it on your phone. I'll leave that with you. So obviously you know you can do that. Um, to do whatever it is that you need to do within here. So I'm gonna kind of close this down, okay? Um, so that's that, okay, so there you have it. Okay, so hopefully now you're gonna be very comfortable, do it several times so you get used to it, and then, you know, you can start sharing these documents with pretty much anybody. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see, hopefully, you in maybe some other videos down the line, okay? Bye, everybody.